<laughs> and Lance Williams, option number two. Here comes Williams on the block. Erno. Coleman driving. Missed it. Richardson got two opportunities, made the second count, and we're tied at 60. Boy, how quick on the second hop, huh? The game clock and the shot clock read the same number. And no timeouts left for Bob Huggins. His team just has to go. Look out for Fletcher. Got to start now, Mark. Five seconds to go. Better make something happen. Levitt is picked. Coleman throws it up. And a foul on Melvin Levitt. What? With no time remaining. What a turn of events. Willie Coleman, who came up with the steal at the end of regulation when Cincinnati didn't need to do anything but hold on to the ball and get fouled, now comes up with another one. He picks his pocket on the crossover and creates the contact. Levitt called for the foul. One more look. He looked up quickly to try and find the clock and threw it up. There's no question he beat the clock. At least the zeros, we can't hear the horn there. Coleman had a chance to give them the lead at the end of regulation, but he went just one of two from the line. Now, are they calling this an attempt on a three? That's what Pat Kennedy wants to know, that he gets three attempts, but they're going to say no, he only gets the two to double bonus. That it's not on the shot. And a couple of Cincinnati players, Pete Michael and Melvin Levin, are talking to Coleman trying to distract him. The situation that you dream about as a youngster in your backyard shooting hoops. This is for the upset. Oh! In and out. He did the same thing near the end of regulation and knocked the second one down. He is two of five from the line today. For the upset. DePaul stuns number three Cincinnati.